Hey friends, so do you wanna own a home in this upcoming year? Well, in this video, we're gonna talk about seven tips to owning a home here in Phoenix, Arizona. Here in Phoenix, it has been great. And being a homeowner, there are some do's and some don'ts. So I put together a list of seven tips so that you can become a homeowner this year. Tip number one. So with deciding how much you can afford, it's all about being realistic, that you wanna make sure that you go to your realtor, you go to your lender, and you're honest, you're professional, and you let them know what you are looking for. Whether that be a single family home, a multi-family home, whatever type of home, or a motor home, or just property so that you'll be able to invest in the future. Whatever it is, make sure you sit down, you evaluate it for yourself so that when you go speak to a lender, you know what to say. Number two. Create a wish list of your needs and your wishes. I know this part isn't the greatest. There is a lot of stuff that was on my wish list that I did not get, but that's okay. That's completely okay because the home that you get now doesn't necessarily mean that that's going to be your forever home. Right now, get what you need. Later on, get what you want. What's up everybody? My name is Brittany and I am with eXp Realty right here in the city of Phoenix, Arizona. If this is your first time with us and you wanna know everything about living, eating, sleeping, living in the city of Phoenix, Arizona, make sure you hit that notification bell so that that way, anytime we come up with a new video, you'll get notified. And honestly, we have so many people contacting us that are moving or relocating here to the city of Phoenix, Arizona, and we absolutely love it. Make sure you call us, email, text, however you wanna get a hold of us, make sure you do. Choose three or four neighborhoods that you are interested in. So when it comes to choosing those three or four neighborhoods that you're interested in moving to, it can happen with a quick Google search, a quick YouTube video, hint, hint. <laughs> I have several videos on my channel with different neighborhoods here in Phoenix. Feel free to check those out to get to know the neighborhoods that you're interested in. The neighborhood that I am showing right now is the neighborhood here in Pierre, Arizona, North Point at Vestancia. In this area of North Peoria, there is a slew of things to do, whether that's hiking, basketball, swimming, tennis, pickleball, playing with your kids, walking your dog. The community here really did a great job of creating a nice family feeling. Number four, determine how much you will need for a down payment and closing cost. Closing cost. <laughs> Determining how much you will need for a down payment or closing cost can be easily determined by speaking with a lender or a trusted financial advisor. They will be able to assist you with the down payment. And also when you speak to a lender, they're also able to see if you qualify for any programs. Any programs like a VA loan, FHA loan, a commercial loan. Number five, get your credit in order to help lower your monthly payments. When you're living your life in your new home, you don't want to have that second thought of, oh my gosh, my payment is so high because I did not prepare in advance to purchase a home. I would say getting your credit in order should be one of the first, first, first before you even think about buying a home that you need to get your credit in order. There are simple things that you can do to make sure that you are working on your credit and to make sure you are increasing your credit. I'd honestly say a good time to start getting your credit in, in order is 
one to two years in advance. Number six, you'll wanna get the necessary documents together for pre-approval. That is definitely something that your lender will be asking you for, like your work statements, your W-2s, all of your tax records, your driver's license, everything that is important about you as an individual or as a couple or as a group, however you, know, you are going in to purchase a home. Number seven. Finally, make sure you speak to a trusted realtor. I myself am a realtor and I work with an amazing team that has helped so many people come here to the Phoenix, Arizona area, and we would be honored to help you. But if you do plan on moving somewhere else and you are just looking at these tips, then make sure you reach out to a friend, a family member that is a realtor, or go ahead and drop me a comment and I can get one of my colleagues that are in another state to give you a call so that they can make sure that you are in the right area. So those were some of my tips. I hope some of that helped get some of the stress off of your mind process in buying a home. It is not that hard, guys. Please make sure you reach out with any questions. Me and my team would love to help. I have several videos on the channel that reference different areas and different tips and techniques. So please feel free to browse some of the playlist, browse some of the videos and let me know what you think. But again, You've got to reach out to us to go see that perfect area or if you're thinking about going to see it. In order to do that, you've got to give us a call, send us an email, send us a text, however you want to get a hold of us. We got your back when moving to Phoenix, Arizona.